I am out of fuel. I've actually been out of fuel from go, but without an intake air temperature sensor, I've managed to street tune 93 octane with air fuel ratio of 12 and a half to one, and rarely ever knock. Here's what I've got. Injector duties are over 100% long before red line. I'm flowing a 20G turbos worth of air with only a standard big 16G. This isn't a very good example, but I have plenty of logs exceeding 44 pounds a minute. It's stupid, I shouldn't be able to do this. But I'm paying for it with ridiculous injector duty cycles and crap timing. This is about 7,000 RPMs and my math sensor is seeing 2400 hertz. I'm getting a measly 16 degree of timing advance, whoop de doo Here's the most knock I've seen in a dog's age, 1.1 degrees pulled. Forge JEs baby, they laugh at that. I've been really happy with what I've eked out of this tiny little turbo and tiny little injectors. On this pull I peaked at about 335 horsepower and 400 RPMs earlier I'm at uh, 343 pounds of torque. I've seen consistent 357s on my horsepower numbers but my tune was very different at the time. Right now I'm doing this with a flat timing curve and a flat fuel map. But I'm about to do something about it. Thank you Carter Nova 72 You've done the community a great service. I bought a used set of injectors from a former DSO boost junkie going M3 Precision Junkie. Uh, we'll, but we'll reel them back in if he never gets around to boosting that thing. At least after he sees how much fun I'm having with his old injectors I think he'll be back. These are RC model PL4750s, low impedance peak hold type injectors. Mitsubishi's use low impedance injectors, just remember that. These have a three hole diffuser in front of a ball and disc style injector nozzle. That just helps diffuse the fuel spray to increase atomization with the passing air. I've been sitting on this new sack of lower injector seals for only about a half a dog age. So for this job we need a 10 millimeter socket socket wrench, a pick for the injector clips and to dig the lower seals out with, a couple of wrenches for the AN fuel lines to drain the rail, a couple of rags to catch the leaking fuel, RTV, we'll get to that, a magnet for all the crap I'm going to drop. I also like to keep the injector clips stuck to it until I can get back to them. My old injectors have a four hole recessed ball and disc jet. The top of the injectors are also very different. I've gone with bigger, harder rubber grommets as upper injector insulators rather than the thin, flimsy rubber ones. I found that putting a little extra pressure on the upper in insulator prevented boost leaks at the lower seal, and this cheap rubber grommet did exactly that. The lower seal boss on these PL4s are grooved for whatever reason, I don't understand it. I don't know what to think of them yet. The old injectors just had a straight fitting that filled up the lower seal pretty well. The new one has a slightly fatter fitting with a groove turned in it to hold the seal, I guess. But the inner diameter of the seal is bigger than that gap. I guess it's supposed to seat tighter on the top and bottom of the seal or something. Uh, I hope I don't have boost leak issues because I'm about to put it to the test. If I do have boost leaks, I'll cover that in another video.
This is what I use the RTV for. Glue. It just holds this fuel rail spacer in place so that servicing the fuel system is much easier. These are a pain to hold in place while you're installing the rail. Blast the lower injector seal seat clean. I find it easiest to install the injector harness first. That way you don't cramp up trying to put these clips on. Ensure that all of your fuel fittings are tight. Now it's time to change the injector settings to reflect the RC750 injectors rather than the 550s that were in it. For 750cc injectors you set global to minus 40 because they're 40% bigger than stock. You set dead time to 315 milliseconds because some guy in a forum somewhere told me to. Crash. Let's try that again. Prime the fuel system and check for leaks. Now, let's see what these puppies are going to do. Problem. Clearly something's wrong. I've got a misfire is what it sounds like, but what it is most likely is either a bad injector pulse signal, a clogged injector, or a burned out injector. So there's a number of things I can do to try to diagnose this, and I'm going to shut up now.